Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into some heated drama in the music world surrounding the 2025 Super Bowl halftime show. As you know, Kendrick Lamar has been announced as the headliner, but many Lil Wayne fans and even some of his peers aren't happy about it, especially since the big game is happening in Wayne's hometown of New Orleans. But things took a sharp turn when Jay Electronica came to Jay-Z's defense, calling out people for blaming Jay over Wayne being snubbed. We're going to break down all the details, so let's get into it. First up, let's talk about Jay Electronica's strong words. He took to social media on September 11th to defend Jay-Z, who's facing backlash over Lil Wayne not being chosen for the Super Bowl halftime show. Jay didn't hold back, saying he's got no respect for people who have smoke for Jay-Z, but not for the real power players like David Geffen, Jimmy Iovine, and Lior Cohen. In his words, I do not respect your gangster. That's a bold statement. Jay Electronica also seemed to take a jab at Birdman and Cash Money for how they treated Hot Boys member Turk, but he clarified that he'd still go to war for his New Orleans brothers, like Birdman, Wayne, and BG. He's clearly got a lot of love for his city, but he's also not here for the finger-pointing. Now, it's important to remember that Jay-Z's involvement with the Super Bowl is bigger than just picking performers. Since Rock Nation partnered with the NFL in 2019, we've seen major hip-hop artists like Dr. Dre, Eminem, and Rihanna take the halftime stage. Fat Joe jumped in to defend Jay, saying it's not all on him to decide who performs. There's a whole committee behind these decisions. Fat Joe made a good point. Before Jay-Z got involved, we didn't even see hip-hop on the Super Bowl stage like we do now. So while people are upset about Wayne being snubbed, Joey Crack argues that Jay-Z has actually been a key player in giving hip-hop more visibility at the biggest game of the year. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Some folks, including Fabulous, have suggested that Kendrick Lamar being chosen over Lil Wayne might not be as simple as a location-based snub. Remember the high-profile feud between Kendrick and Drake? Well, some speculate that Kendrick's performance is the NFL's way of solidifying his status after that major W over Drake. Fabulous also echoed Fat Joe's thoughts, saying it's not fair to blame Jay-Z alone since these decisions are made by a larger group of people. Yes, a Lil Wayne halftime show in New Orleans would have been legendary, but Kendrick has earned his place too, and the decision might go deeper than we think. So to wrap things up, Jay Electronica's defense of Jay-Z has really stirred the pot. While Lil Wayne fans have every right to be upset, it's clear that the decision-making process for the Super Bowl halftime show is much more complex. Jay-Z's involvement with the NFL has brought hip-hop into the spotlight, and it's not all on him to make every call. What do you think? Should Lil Wayne have been the choice, or is Kendrick Lamar the right pick? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on the latest music industry drama. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the Red Carpet Reup.